Did you know that certain messages you send on WhatsApp could land you in jail in South Africa? This startling development comes as President Cyril Ramaphosa recently signed the Preventing and Combating of Hate Crimes and Hate Speech Bill into law. This sweeping legislation is redefining permissible speech on digital platforms like WhatsApp and social media, making it crucial for users to understand the boundaries of this new law. The law specifically targets hate speech, which it defines as any intentional publication of content that incites or promotes hatred based on race, gender, religion, disability, or other characteristics. This means that a simple message, if construed as promoting hate, could have serious legal consequences. Whether it's a written text, an illustration, or even a spoken word shared electronically, the intent behind the communication is the key factor. For users of WhatsApp and other social media platforms in South Africa, this law mandates a high level of vigilance. Sharing or forwarding messages that could be interpreted as hate speech is now not only a social faux pas, but a criminal act. Those found guilty of disseminating hate speech electronically could face up to five years in prison, a hefty fine, or both. However, the law does acknowledge certain exceptions. It isn't designed to suppress freedom of expression entirely. Protected categories include artistic expression, academic or scientific inquiry, fair and accurate reporting, and religious expression. These provisions aim to balance the law's strictures with the need for free speech and open dialogue. Despite these safeguards, the law has not been met with universal approval. Critics argue that the definition of hate speech within the bill is too vague and subjective, potentially paving the way for its misuse. Concerns have been raised that it could be wielded to stifle legitimate dissent and critique under the guise of preventing hate speech. As South Africa moves forward with this law, law enforcement and prosecutors are undergoing training to handle these cases effectively. Meanwhile, the legal landscape may continue to evolve as challenges to the constitutionality of the law are expected. These could reshape or clarify the law's application in the years to come. In conclusion, the introduction of this hate speech law marks a significant shift in how online communication is regulated in South Africa. WhatsApp users and social media enthusiasts need to tread carefully, understanding that their words have power and could lead to severe legal consequences. As this law begins to take effect, its impact on free speech and digital communication will be closely watched both within South Africa and globally.